morning everyone here from the capital of France Paris we just arrived here from Iceland and it's only going to be a quick layover but we do have the full day here today and right now we're just about to head into the city center where the majority of the sites are we're staying a bit on the outskirts here Carol knows the name I think a bit better yeah I think it's Porte de Choisy um, at least that's the metro station name and we're very close by to the Chinatown so yeah there's loads of Asian restaurants right. here right yeah. yeah we actually ate at one yesterday so all the street here is like a Chinatown like she said many Asian people around here I think we're gonna get the metro to yeah, the city center to the historical part yep let's go so we tried getting the metro yesterday and we had a fun time because it's pretty crazy here, there's so many different lines. Basically all these colors that you see in the different metro lines. Then there's the metro and there's this thing which is like a train. Oh, okay. And buses and... It's all linked. Yeah, they have <laughs> many types of uh, transportation. Yeah. Is that the fare there per person? Yeah. Alright, one euro ninety. That's just for one way, isn't it? Yeah. So we got two of those. So we've arrived in the center now. I think it only took about 20, 25 minutes to get here. And cow has been here before, so she knows this area a lot more than me. You're the tour guide. Well, it's been, I don't know, seven years, maybe more, I don't know. Oh, is that uh, long ago? Yeah, I think we were not dating at that time. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I came by myself and it was my first solo travel. And it was very nice, I loved it. And that's why I wanted to come back with you now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's already super beautiful. Just as expected, there's like epic, historic European buildings everywhere. Everything old. It's all around, even in this area here. I think that's like a theater, an old theater there. So crossing this bridge, it's actually like uh, an island from what Carol said, like uh, yeah. an island in the middle of the river. Yeah, it is an island and there's the, the place that we're going now, the, the famous cathedral and Notre Dame. So here it is, the Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris. And it is a Sunday, that's why it's pretty busy. And that's supposed to be one of the best examples of a French Gothic architecture. But unfortunately, it caught fire, I think, in 2019. Yeah. And you can't visit. No, it's, it's closed for visitation. But at least from the outside, it still looks very uh, amazing, I think. Yeah, it's just boarded up at the bottom. So apparently they're hoping to reconstruct it by 2024. I love these old uh, street lamps. Check that out. They're everywhere around here. You said it's nice at night, right? Yeah, because uh, the, at least when I came uh, a long time ago, it was like a beautiful light around the, the church. Uh, also it lit up the church. Yeah, and also the, the Eiffel Tower is another nice place to go at night. We'll, we'll see that today. Yeah. <laughs> Literally everything is super beautiful around this area though. The buildings are amazing. Different kind of buildings. And this is that same river that we crossed before on the other side. What's it called? Uh, Seine. Seine. Uh, Seine River. Okay. It's the most famous one because it crosses uh, Paris. So when you go to the Eiffel Tower, you're gonna see it. Yeah, so 
just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you can do boat tours around here over an hour as well. I don't think we're gonna do it, but yeah, you can do it. And I can already tell why it's like the city of love, like the romantic city. It does have that feel to it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen that film, Midnight in Fair. Paris? Yeah, I love that film. Yeah, that's what it's reminding me of, because I remember he's always crossing these bridges. Maybe it's this, maybe it's around here. Yeah, I don't know, there are many bridges, but that movie is very nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's one of the movies that I've seen Paris the most in. Yeah, so these were the boats that we were talking about. Loads of people on that boat. It's actually two of them. I didn't realize the boats were, were so big. Did you do the boat tour last time? Yeah, I did. I think uh, I was checking for to do it now. It's around 14 euros. Per person? Per person, yeah. But I'm not sure if we're gonna have time. I don't think so. Yeah, we got, we got other plans. Other cool things to do. Now we've come to the famous museum. Carol can pronounce it. Louvre. Louvre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Look at the size of this. So apparently, all these buildings all the way around are the, the museum. It's huge. And Carol booked us a ticket online because it's a uh, Sunday. We thought we were just going to turn up and no. be able to go. Yeah, because uh, online you can see the slots and we were seeing that it was becoming unavailable. So we were like, okay, just we, we better book in advance. And how much was it? Uh, 17 euros per person. And from what I read, this is the most visited museum in the world. So this is yet another spot that I've seen in films countless times, the glass pyramid. Is that part of the museum? Yes, you, we can actually see it from the inside once we get there. Okay. We'll get the downstairs and we can see it above us. I don't remember what film I saw it in, but it was something to do with like car chases and yeah. cars a, speeding out of here, I don't know. <laughs> there's that one, uh, Da Vinci Code. Okay. So just like Carol mentioned, here on the inside, you get the inside view of the pyramid. Pretty cool. Jam-packed here today though, so many people. You can get these uh, free maps if you want. This one's in English, it has all the main sites. And this is actually the place where you can see the Mona Lisa. Probably the most famous painting in the world. I imagine it's going to be some wacky queue, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Wow, check this place out. <laughs> That's crazy. Like the entire room is one big work of art. Hey Carol, it almost feels like we're in like a royal palace or something. Yeah, but this is just a museum. <laughs> yeah, it really does look like some palace though.
definitely see that this is the most visited uh, museum in the world. Have you ever been in a museum like this visit before? Well, yes, because I have been here. <laughs> it was very busy as well. Yeah, it was like this last time. Yeah. So this is the queue to see the famous Mona Lisa painting. Crazy amount of people. So we're not going to bother, but we can see it from here anyway. There she is. That's as close as we're getting. Carol fighting through the crowd. Yeah, even like in this part, which is not the queue, it's, uh, it's hard to take pictures. <laughs> section that we're in now is like uh, Mediterranean art so this museum has art from yeah loads of different regions just so much to see it's impossible to show it all I think you need like how long to explore this whole place maybe an entire day I don't know if you really need to read everything you need many hours a lot of a lot to see and yeah I don't think we can see everything today no we're just walking past everything quickly because there's just so much to see it's almost too big. Oh, check that statue out. Huge. So now we're going to get a bite to eat at this food stand here in front of the museum. I think I'm going to go with the classic 10 euros sandwich, drink and dessert. Which are you getting? Nutella crepe. Nutella crepe. This one, four. Four euros. A lot of sandwiches to choose from. <laughs> so I ended up going for the ham and cheese baguette. Also got a nice uh, muffin here. Like raspberry. Yours looks pretty good as well. Yeah, a true French crack. Yeah, mm -hmm. a real French crack. Pretty good deal. Like mine just 10 and yours 6. Ten. We have just come from Iceland, so <laughs> everything seems way cheaper. Yeah. We also get to watch a French football game here in the park. Oh, oh goal. <laughs> in the rain. So in front of the museum, there's also this big uh, garden area here. Got this impressive arch here. Loads of cool artwork, sculptures and stuff. What's the name of this garden, Carol? Tuileries. Uh, Tuileries. Yeah. I'm not good in French, but you're better than something me. Something like that. <laughs> We ended up getting back on the metro again and we come to some famous place for uh, shopping, like a big uh, shopping street. What's it called again? Champs-Élysées. Yeah, Champs-Élysées. Champs-Élysées. <laughs> yeah, so apparently it's one of the world's most famous avenues. Just loads of stores, restaurants, yeah, just all sorts of stores and shops. Was the weather better than this when you came last time? Yeah, it was like blue skies, but it was uh, summer. Summer. And now we're in the winter. Yeah, now this is like wet winter weather. We didn't come to this area to do shopping though. We came to see the famous arch here, which is also something that I've seen in many photos and films. So that's called Arc de Triomphe. Hopefully I said it right. And that was built to commemorate Napoleon's victories. 
So we just got our tickets and it was 13 euros per person and that's to go to the top of the arch. We're supposed to get some pretty good views there. The spiral staircase. <laughs> All right, we're on the top now. So just the floor below here, there's actually a museum. I didn't expect there to be a museum here. And this is definitely a great spot for panoramic views of the city. Look at that, it looks like the same road over and over. <laughs> That's bizarre, right? <laughs> yeah, because I think Paris, at least this part, was kind of a planned, a planned city. So that's why the streets look very like similar. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much symmetrical. I don't think I've seen that before like that, as you go around. And there's the Eiffel Tower, where we're gonna head to next. Shame about the crappy weather though. Like super cold, rainy, <laughs> not so clear. And on the other side, still pretty similar with like the symmetrical looking streets. And I guess that's the modern area of uh, Paris over there. The business district. All the buildings look exactly like the same height as well. Yeah. All these buildings here. Yes, which is something nice, I think, because I, I, sometimes it's kind of weird when there's like a big, big difference. Yeah, skyscraper and then a small one. Yeah. I think it looks nice like this. So we're getting on the metro once again. We were gonna walk, but uh, yeah, we don't really wanna walk 30 minutes in the rain. From up there, it looked a lot closer, but yeah, it's 30 minutes. That's what Google Maps says. Oh, I just missed it. at the spot now weather's even worse right now super rainy so yeah not the conditions that we wanted to go up the tower so the metro station is just back there and i think you have to walk probably about five minutes to the huge eiffel tower right there i guess that's where all these people are going <laughs> struggle yeah what are you trying to do clean my lens okay <laughs> full of water So here's the prices. I didn't know that you can choose just to go to the second floor and for adults that's 17 euros 10. That's with the elevator. Or you can take the stairs and it's just 10 uh, euro 70. But obviously we want to go to the top since we're here and that's uh, 26 80 with the elevator and 20 40 if you want to walk. I don't know if I want to walk. <laughs> Yeah, last time that I was here, I walked, but I'm not sure <laughs> yeah, today. I don't know. Been a lot of walking already.
so it's pretty crazy coming up here. My ears actually popped, I think, because the elevator was going quite quick. It is quite the view from up here, though. Super high. <laughs> kind of scary, actually. Whoa. <laughs> Just too cold, right, Carol? Carol's yeah. freezing. It's cold and rainy. <laughs> <laughs> so this tower was built in 1888. I didn't realize it was that old that something like this was built in uh, 1888 and it's 324 meters high to the summit just close to where we are right now man this is like Iceland cold up here <laughs> yeah basically yeah it's like super icy cold so here it says that Gustav Eiffel uh, he made a small apartment at the top of the tower which is right here where he hosted guests <laughs> I like the decorations. Yeah. Wanna leave here? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Too crowded. Yeah. back at our hotel room now after the visit to the Eiffel Tower we ended up having a meal nearby and then we went back in front of the Eiffel Tower to check it out at night really beautiful at night with all the lights so definitely worth visiting at night time and the place that we're staying here is called B&B Hotel so this is $75 a day has a really good uh, breakfast as well so yeah it's been pretty pretty good deal and really close to the metro station so as I mentioned at the start this was just a quick layover definitely not enough time to explore Paris properly but yeah we like the sites that we visited and my favorite part was actually just in the beginning just walking around the neighborhoods I actually prefer that more than the attractions just because yeah the streets are so beautiful so yeah, I like to come back here and walk around more explore some other different neighborhoods in the future and probably if we come back we won't come in the, the winter Maybe a month closer to summer to have some better weather. I'm sure it's going to be a lot better. And in the next video, we're finally going to go to a warmer climate again. We've been doing a lot of uh, travels in winter places, right? Like Patagonia, Edinburgh, Iceland, and now here. So yeah, it's time to get warm again. So that'll be the next video. If you like this one, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next one.